guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I've got a really exciting one for you today. I'm actually going to be unboxing the Glossy Box calendar. Um, I've been subscribed with Glossy Box for like forever. So I decided I'm going to buy the calendar this year because I always do a Marks and Spencers one. And I always do like random ones maybe. I'm out of breath, sorry, I've been running up and down the hallway. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd do the first ever calendar Christmas calendar is the glossy box one because it's been delivered today I'm literally recording it today so I don't know what's in it obviously I have the old uh, glossy box information in here so I'm not gonna look at it I'm just gonna randomly open it so it's freaking heavy by the way so if you do like these videos please like and subscribe for future videos also and if you go check out Just Strong Fitness, they have some really nice outfits. Um, this is like really comfortable, it's good workout, good quality, and it's one of those ombre ones. And I've got the trousers to go with it, but I actually wear my pajama bottoms. <laughs> but go check them out. Oh, see, here we got the glossy box advent. So what I'm going to do is move some of my stuff out of the way. Let me just... Red Bull. I need that this morning. So let's open this up. I might be able to show you the whole thing. But it just opens up like this. And it says there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. No, it's just a draw. As I say, this is the first time I've ever had a glossy box calendar. Let's hold it up like that. So I'm going to go open the first one, and number one's right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take all the drawers out. Because I'm not keep opening and holding this up because it's too freaking heavy. Right. The good thing is you could probably use this for the stand. Right. Right, number one. Big box for number one. What we got in here? Also, do like their tissue. So we have some brushworks complexion and the contour kit in the first one. Just some random sponges, really. That's the first one. Number two is down here. Number two. Let's randomly open these really quickly. Number two is oh god, don't ask me to say that. So I got an ear infection, so if I'm like speaking really loud or really quiet, it's because I can't hear myself. But this is a liquid liner. It's black liquid liner. I have a tendency to smell things, but that's the name of the brand. I don't know whether you could see it, but I can't pronounce it, so don't bother asking me. Ha! <laughs> that's number two. And again, they got the uh, little tissue paper in there. That's number two. Number three. This little box here. I think the other end. I've had this stuff before, uh, Laboratoires Belgola, I can't even pronounce it properly, but yeah, it's some of their cream, and it's really nice, I've used their cream bef creams before, so that's not bad, but it's like a mini size, if Glossy Box is spending, telling us to say this is over 300 quid's worth, why give you little samples? Don't get that. But that is number three. Let's find number four. And I've got an idea. It's fourth box. No. Number four is up here. Open it the wrong end. This seems really heavy. Okay, we've got some Pixie Glow Mist with Propus 
aloe, algan oil, nourishing mist. I'm assuming it's just mist. But there you go. Big size bottle. It's an 80ml bottle, so that's not bad. Get in there, glossy box. You get in there. You're winning me over. I did five. Then I opened it the other end. There it is. So we have some red velvet lipstick called Lima Chi. Lima Chi. Lima Chi. Oh, it smells amazing though. I don't do lips, by the way. Just pointing that out. I do not do lips. So, good present. Got little lips. I did not show that on the camera, but I'm sure you guys can figure it out. It's like, not bad. So, lips don't interest me. That's five. Number six. Just to see a big spot on my chin. I've been trying to get it rid of it for two days. Oh, we got some Lee stuff. Can't even speak today. It's not that great. East Stanford. Stafford. Intense hair cares. 10 in 1 leave-in treatment. Get 100 mils. Don't know if it smells or not. I'll figure it out. That's number six. Number seven. Oh, seven's in the same same area. Number seven. And it's their three in one moisturizer. Glossy box is skincare. I would like to try this though, but I've got my own skincare routine going on at the moment and it's cleared me up massively. Apart from my little breakout here, but that's probably because I'm run down. But yeah, full size as well, which ain't bad. So that's number seven. Let's find number eight. Mine's there. Hang on. Hey, I'm literally losing my mind. Eight. Wow, it's huge. Number eight, big old box. Again, I opened it upside down. And it's a bath bomb. It's a bath bomb. A winter berry bath frizzer. I did put some of their dusty powder in my bath last night and that's the description that I got with my glossy box. I got the, where is it? Enchantment Spirit. And it had the uh, powder in it and it was really nice just lavender powder that was that was really nice i just lit them up that's number eight and number nine was over here number nine quite light always open my end well, of course it's very light. It's an, a brow defining pencil. And I believe it's in black. Or maybe brown. This is MUA. And it is in brown. Yeah, mid brown. You've got that bit stairs. And you also get a shot on the end. Not bad. Number nine. Got a good old 10 to go. Down there, nine, ten, Mr. Ten, Mr. Ten, Mr. Ten's down here. Number ten. Again, opening the wrong side. That's standard for me. Oh, what's this? Oh, we have a screen queen. Don't ask me to pronounce the name because I cannot. Look at this. It's a palette or something. Ow, I've 
little collar. Oh, wow. Look at them. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Highlighting powder palette. Not bad. So don't ask me to pronounce names because, hey, look, I'm not that smart. But I'm sure you guys can read it. That's 10. I just realised I'm putting these ones back in the bottom one, bottom drawer, and realised that number 25 is underneath it. So that's going to be interesting. But I'm not opening it yet. We're not that far. Number 11. Number 11, this box here, I'm really interested in the box. Guess what, you'll be naked in minutes. Charming. Frank body. Exfoliate uh, for smooth skin, smooth glowing skin. Original coffee scrub. Okay. I don't do things like that, so maybe I try it, I don't know. That's just not appealing to me whatsoever. My skin is perfectly fine, I use my own skin regime. So 11, right, number 12. I saw you just now. There we are. It's this little box. I'm assuming this is going to be something. Yeah. A pot. This is the Watermelon Glow Sleep Mask. Again, make sure things are sealed. Because last, last time the glossy box sent me anything, something exploded and I was not impressed. Oh my god, that smells amazing. <sighs> That smells divine. I could eat that. But I'm not going to. Ooh. Cute. Obviously, this is just... Obviously, I'm showing you what's in the boxes. I am going to be opening these on the days. But I already know what's in it because they've sent you the information. So, <laughs> what was the point in that? 12, 13. Why give me little samples? Was well, it so I can go and buy the bigger, big and real thing? So this is a colic treatment, something exfoliating, look dull, congested, sun damage. Okay, that's uh, Sunday Riley. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it's the tiniest thing, 5 mil. Ah, we give it a go. So, 13, 14. There we are, it's 14. Again, wrong side. If you're wondering what this is in the background, it's my Harry Potter puzzle. Ooh, I've got some hand cream. Ooh, vegan. 30 mils. Moisturising, nourishing and protects with organic apricot and arm. Oh my god, I have to smell this. And again, it's sealed. I'm just going to open it because why not? Ooh, it's got black in it. Which is that? I hate things in my nails. It smells nice. Always wash your hair, guys. Hmm, not bad. 
It's from Hand Cream. Hand Cream. That's what it says. Fourteen. Fifteen. You're over it. Perfect. Oh, hello. What is this? Wow, I got some Fenty. Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Bloody hell, it's the first time I've ever had one of these. Jesus. It's called a matchstick. Shimmer skin stick. In tipping. Whatever colour that is. Looks like someone's already opened it. Wow. Cute packaging. It's like a hexagon. I always smell things, I don't know why. Yeah, it's alright, but my skin tone's a lot lighter than this orange looking shimmer stick, but yeah. Very nice indeed. Thank you very much. Still not overly impressed about it, but yeah, thank you. Anyway, cheers. That's number 15. 16 is... Oh, come on, in you go. There's 16. I must say, I like this marble effect on the boxes. 16. Oh, we've got bare minerals. Let's pull these up and get a bit off. Prime Time Original Foundation Primer. Okay, so you've got a big box like this and the most tiny freaking. How many mils you got in there? Seven mils. Apply a thin layer, even layer over the face and allow to dry. Follow the Bare Minerals foundation. Why put a big packaging for a small item? Just put the small item in there. That really frustrates me because you're not actually getting the full item that you pay for. You're getting the, the samples. As I said, that really winds me up because you're paying like extortionate amounts of upper items and you're not getting the full amount. 17. This end, and again, opening the wrong freaking end. This is a pot body shop. At the moment, I'm not impressed. This is not 78 quid's worth of stuff that I've just paid for. And it's certainly not over 300 pounds worth because half of this stuff is actually samples. Purifying glow mask. Okay. First strong, yeah, sanded small pot. Fifteen mils. Yeah, it's gonna last you what? A week. So that's seventeen. Where's eighteen? There we are. Again open it alongside. Loose pigment by sleek makeup. Again. What's this worth? Should I just look in the book and see how much it's worth? Might as well. Number 18. 15. Five pounds 49 for some loose pigment. Oh, so that Himalaya from Body Shop was only six pounds for that 15 mil. Six quid. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they do like making up prices. That mini Dulux Primer Bare Minerals it was six quid. And they actually having a bubble. Six quid for a seven mil primer. You might as well go and get a big one for that. Full size 30 mil is 26 pounds. Are they actually having a bubble? Well, the Fenty Shimmer Stick was 21 quid. That hand cream was 
seven pound fifty. Oh, and that Sun Daily treatment, su Sunday Daily, barely, yeah, that one. The Deluxe Mini five mil was eleven pounds eighty four. The full price is sixty seven quid. So you get the small Deluxe Mini for eleven pound eighty four. How is this all adding up to over three hundred pounds worth of stuff? Okay, I'm going to continue, but I'm not impressed right now. That's 18. Let's just get this over with. 18. 19. Where are you? 19. There you are. Yep. One side. Oh, got a fluffy little hairband. Fantastic. Oh. And I dropped it. Lovely. Brilliant. Let's see how much that one was. Six ninety nine. You can go in Primark and get one for two quid. Yep, still not impressed. Well, glossy box, you haven't won me over yet. Nineteen. Oh, we're on the twenty mark. Five more to go. Oh, God. If I can get this box back in, twenty's so up here. So far, I'm not impressed. Oh, we've got some Huda Beauty. Huda Beauty. And I've got Wedding Day. Are they trying to tell me something? Right, I'm trying to open this damn thing. I ain't got my scissors here either. Tweezers I do. Finally got in there. Jesus. They don't make these packaging easy. I thought it would save the environment. What? That's not going in. Pretty packaging. But too dark for me. But it does look like a full lipstick, which is probably the first time I've actually seen something that's actually full lipstick. 20. 21. Three. So let's see what's in this one. Let me guess. Oh no. Again, small size again. I haven't. Um, I have quite a few of these haven't ones. Uh, I think I've got some more over here. But they are very good brands and I do highly recommend them. Uh, they're their face creams and stuff like that are, are absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, really good stuff, a really good brand to work. You know, I actually quite like their stuff. It's not strong either. They don't have a scent. I've got that hand cream on, so I've got a scent, but they are brilliant. But I don't like them given small samples. I hate small samples. I want the real thing, I'm going to get a big, big one. But yeah, I will go through all the prices with you at the end. So that's 21. 22. Daily micro fire. Okay, what is this? Brightening powder exfoliator. Loose stuff. This is Dermatologer. Sorry if I said that wrong. There's powder in it, so I don't know what you're supposed to do with it. Oh, hang on a minute. Let me read the instructions. Directions: dispense into water, wet, dispense into wet hands, and create a paste. Massage it onto clean face, rinse, and avoid the eye area. It's it's. Achieves a bright, smooth, and skin every day for the iconic exfoliating powder. Okay, we'll have to wait and try that. But yeah, quite a big size box to be fair. I can tell what's the mirror on it. Oh, yeah, 30 
13 grams. Not bad. I'll give it a go, see what comes out. 22, you're in there, right, we get in there, 23, he's right in front of me, thank God, he's lifting these boxes up, give me arm work out, what we got in here, ooh, mascara, KVW, K is that KVD, go black, go big or go home, okay, extreme volume, long wear, Okay. Follow my s mascara. Again. <sighs> why? Why? It's apparently vegan. Suitable for vegans. Sample. Not for individual sale. So you're giving me samples. Samples are free. Right, okay. I am actually sick of this now. Deluxe Mini, 200 grams. This size is apparently five pounds. This is five pounds. Okay, so when it says on the box, let me just clarify something sample not for individual sale i am gobsmacked that they put in three example and it actually says not for sale so they're giving away free samples and when it says here deluxe mini two gram worth five pounds just pointing this out that majority of your products that you're getting in the glossy box well not just in the glossy box but majority of the stuff you're getting is samples so technically ignore the price that the samples are worth they're not worth anything because they're samples they're for you to try i'm just i am totally not impressed right now let's have a look at the ones i might as well while we're here The hugest one I've ever seen in my life. If just look at that. Look. I'm not dissing the product. I'm just dissing the disappointment that they've put in samples in over apparently three hundred pounds worth of stuff, which majority of this is free. So technically, you're paying seventy to eight, seventy-eight to eighty quid, depends on how many points you have for free samples you're paying for the samples i just don't get it so yeah 24 i already know what this is because i've really looked i'm not impressed <laughs> i'm not impressed at all it's really some of this stuff is so disappointing I actually have had this before. I had my one from my Marks and Spencer's calendar from last year, and I still stick by it because it was such a nice colour. But <clears throat> these are the best nail colours you can get. This is Victorian, so this is quite an, a dark one. But I'm not putting it on my nails, but that's what it, it's like a dark cherry colour. I love to smell a nail varnish, but it makes me high as a kite. But yeah, these are the best. It's called Nails Ink. They are really good brand, and I do like their nails, and they dry quite good. So, one decent thing out of the whole thing. Right, it's 24. So, the last and not least, if this makes it up, then I'll be very amazed. But I've just got to take the whole these out to get to the bottom of it. It's 25, it's right underneath all of these. I'm dropping it. Who cares? Right. 25! 
So in the last drawer, it will be underneath all the, the others. And I hate this freaking packaging, man. Why waste it? Okay, so we got an iconic palette. Iconic London palette. Gold packaging. Yeah, standard. And it's just basically this. Yeah, it's a natural palette, uh, day to slay eyeshadow palette, created endless beauty looks. These are 20 highly, highly pigment, pigmented pinks, peaches, bronzes, gold shades. These velvet soft powders include mixture of matte shimmers, glitters, for a flawless day to night look. Caution, if the product gets in your eyes, rinse well with water immediately to keep out of reach of children. Okay. And the iconic London palette is worth 45 pounds. £45. Okay. Okay. Right. So this whole entire calendar, mind you, some of these colours are pretty sick. I must admit, like the shimmers in it, great, fantastic. But the packaging is so big and bulky. What am I supposed to do with that? Majority of my palettes, as you can see over here, is all stands all stands up so yeah what am i gonna do with this where am i gonna stick this what well, that doesn't fit in my drawer look <laughs> okay i'll figure it out i don't know whether you guys have realized that i'm not impressed with this <laughs> calendar of 78 quid's worth calendar i'm not impressed in the slightest bit but i will go through my final thoughts and tell you what i think with those right okay yeah let's just drop everything i'll sort it out later so my final thoughts on the glossy box well should we just go for the prices spoiler alert what's the point of sending a huge book like this <coughs> with all your products in when you're going to open them anyway this is why i do these videos because you need to know what you're getting for your money and I'm just going to point out a few things. So, the first one. £11.99 for three. Uh, you can go to Pound Shop and get them cheaper. And they're quite good quality. Um, don't need three. <laughs> you can get the multi-pack for a pound. So, yeah, that's not worth it. Um, the liquid eyeliner... 21 quid seems quite a bit of a steep um i don't know the name of the brand which i find is quite a cheeky way of getting people to buy the actual big one no you don't do things like that the pixie glow mist was 16 pounds pixie is really good stuff i must admit i do like pixie and that is quite a big bottle so that one i am okay with um, this Lime Crime Mini Velvet Lipstick. I would never wear it. And because it looks like a mini, it's only 10 quid. Again, sample. Um, and that's on, if you want to shop for it, it's on Look Fantastic. I don't know why you want to, but yeah. Lee Stanford Hair Apology 10 in 1 Treatment is 11 99 which again that is probably the correct amount price and it is quite a nice size bottle and if you want to obviously shop you can shop on boots and just type in his name and then you've got your glossy box skincare three in one moisturizer exclusive describers price 18 quid retail price is at 22.50 i think that's a little bit 22.50 for a three-in-one moisturizer i think your pricing's a little bit too high 
I went and got the simple one for like £1.25 and it works exactly the same thing. So, and that was on offer. Not original price, it's only three quid. And that's simple. This is my favourite brand. You could not get any better than simple. Anyway, cracking on with my, uh, my noxiousness. And again, the uh, glossy box. You can have a look for their moisturiser, overpriced moisturiser if you're not subscribed. So go subscribe. Sometimes you do get some really good stuff, but this is just like, takes a biscuit. I've waited months for this to come through. It's been delayed for like three days. So I don't know if anyone's put any videos up right now, but this is going up today. So good luck. <laughs> Hope it hasn't going to get taken down because I'm quite patronising at times. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to carry on. So we've got the Fizzy bo uh, Bomb Winter Berry <laughs> Bath Bomb Fizzies. I did have their, as I said before, I did have their nice lambda dusty sprinkle thing on my bath yesterday. So that was quite nice. That, I must admit, I will buy again. Um, it's 5 99 Obviously, I didn't buy it, but I got it. Paid £11.50 subscription so yeah um bubbles cosmetics go and have a check them out really nice bath bombs i must say then we got the mua cosmetic eyebrow pencil in a medium brown um i don't know how they know i'm a medium brown but um i'm not i'm taupe because i have different colors in my eyebrows but i do not mess with my eyebrows i have my set eyebrows and that is it uh, £1.50, £1 yeah, standard pencil isn't it, you can always go on the MUA store if you want to. And then you got Zoe, 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 I don't know, you know the one, the one with the highlight palette, um, the Screen Queen highlight palette. 15 quid for free highlights. <coughs> okay. I'm not even going to go into that one. Yeah, where was I? Oh yeah, the highlight palette thing, EBG. So, the next one is the Frank Body Original Coffee Scrub. Okay, so the mini is worth £1.40 and the full size 200 grams is worth £12.95. It's only worth that if it works. So, stopping and lifting that one. Let's have a Red Bull break. Mm. I know everyone knows me, but I am obsessed with Red Bull. I will drink it all day long. Anyway, that's a Frank Body Scrub. Glow Recipe, the Watermelon Glow Sleep Mask. Again, mini, deluxe mini 10 ml worth £3.93 no it's not worth £3.93 if you've got a big head and a big face and a you know that's going to use all of that it's not exactly the biggest size so the original size which is a false 80 mil size it's £36.40 again I've told you many times that the samples that get the products they're giving you are sample products they're free products you go into their store and it's a free product. They want you to try it, so you buy it. Do you get the, get the drift? Oh, that frustrates me so much. Um, yeah. Go on to Glow Recipe and go check them out because that smell was amazing and I hopefully this works because I really do like a, a mask and you get rid of this pimple which is really annoying me right now. Um, Sun Daily, as I said previously, <laughs> just amazed how shocked I am at the price. Again, mini, Deluxe Mini 5ml is worth £11.84 and it's supposed to formulate and purify, purify gloss, gl whatever. That treatment penetrates a deep layer of the skin and removes dirt and impurities from your pores. It also repairs sun damage. I don't know if it's sun damage, but yeah, you go. And then you've got the e-cooking hand cream. 
you know, it's a decent size and I think you find that is worth that. And again, that's on Look Fantastic brand, so I swear they got clapped with these. Anyway, let's crack on with the next one. Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, the match stick shimmer skin th thick. But say that when you dunk. Um, 21 quid. It's Fenty. It's Fenty Beauty. It's by Rihanna. It's going to be expensive. It's just a name brand. Anyway, let's crack on because I'm not really interested in Fenty Beauty. So, um, Got Bare Minerals. Again, I was absolutely gobsmacked at the size of this. Six quid worth of the, the small. No. Absolutely not. Um... If it works, then yeah, it's worth it, but it's a sample. It's not a full size, so you're not getting full size stuff, which I find really bloody stupid. Um, yeah, full size is 26 quid. <laughs> you can go try it if you want to try it. I'm not going to push you to do it, but I'm not impressed with it. And then you've got your Body Shop Hinalaya Charcoal uh, Purifying Glow Mask. I will try this out, um, but... 15 mil is six quid again the sizes they give you are kind of sample pop size so six quid i don't know i'll try it out i'll see if it works if it does i will go and purchase i do like body shop stuff and some of their pill stuff is amazing by the way um definitely go check body shop out um then you've got the sleek makeup loose pigment well, 549, yeah, sleek makeup, mm, standard. I don't like loose pigment because it gets everywhere and yeah, that is not me. Um, a, are they for real? Vintage Cosmetic Company. Vintage. Like old style stuff, vintage. Um, I think they need to sort out their name because it's not old and vintage is a completely different matter 6 99 for the headband you can go and get one for the pound shop don't waste your money or you can get one off amazon it's prime go get it on don't pay 6 99 for one um i don't know what vintage cosmetic companies like i've never heard of them um poly bow makeup headband uh i can just put on my standard black headband yeah not worth the $6.99 oh god I am torturing this aren't I <laughs> um, Huda Beauty uh, Power Bullet Matte Lipstick Wedding Day I don't know why they've put Wedding Day in here um, it's too dark I know it's near Christmas but if you want like a cherry red or a neutral no £22 yeah Miss Selfridges yeah just all I need to say to that one. Um, and then you've got the Ant Skincare. Highly recommend doing that, getting that because it's a free in one and it's collagen for your eyes. It's a collagen filler for your eyes. So as you can see, I'm quite dark circled under my eyes right now because I've had less sleep because so I've got a knee infection. So mate, they're good stuff, honestly, I get it, every time I get it, I always use it, so yeah, highly recommend it, it is really freaking expensive, it's £100, it's 90 and it blends the hyaluronic acid and collagen, this eye cream deeply hydrates your skin and improves its, its elasticity to help, helping to smooth out fine lines and wrinkles, Pat the eye cream under the eyes and work from the inner to the outer corner of your lower lid. Please do try that out because I'm 32 and I look 20 for using this stuff. It, as you can see, oh, do it, go for it, get it, go and check their website out. I know it's really expensive, but I'd rather have that than freaking wrinkles. Um, Dermatologist Daily Micro Fiber. I've no idea what this stuff is. I've never heard of it. I may have seen people on TikTok or <coughs> YouTube, not YouTube, t mainly TikTok uses stuff, and I ain't got a freaking clue what it is. So this could be interesting to read. 
So formulates with a rice brand, white tea and liquid. This exfoliating powder removes dead cells and evens out your skin tone to reveal a bright smooth complexion. Dispense into watered hands rub together to formulate a paste then massage into skin for a minute and then rinse okay might have to try that out but as i say the 30, 13 grams is worth 13 pound 50 the full price is 51 quid if it's worth it then yeah i would yeah but no I don't know because I've never tried it so I can't give you my honest opinion because I've never tried anything like it so that's going to be an interesting video when I try that one out um let's go on to the KVD vegan beauty what can I say about this the only thing I can say about this is this is a free sample it says it on the box I showed you that it's a free sample it is not worth five pounds and the original price is 20 quid for some mascara 20 quid for some mascara i can go and get kiko milan for like 6.99 or i can go and get physique for like three pound 99 in tk max i can go and get revolutions for like six 3.99 or 10 quid you don't need to pay 20 quid for some vegan mascara no you don't know if it works or what so yeah no because i've just got a free sample and i paid 78 quid for the whole box which is supposedly worth over 300 pounds but majority of the products in here are actually samples so technically you're wasting money so no disrespect glossy box but you need to up your game um nails point ink dot ink i do like those highly recommend and it is worth 15 quid because the quality of the nail varnish is actually really good so yeah highly recommend go check them out that's all i can say to that one um <laughs> the iconic london day to slay eyeshadow palette uh features 12 20 matte shimmers and glitter shades now just create endless looks both day and night builds and blends shadows together to create a soft smoky design to use a wet brush to create the intense metallic effect 45 quid <coughs> 45 quid okay no, this one. so 45 quid when you can go onto beauty bay and get 42 colors that i know you've got blues and pinks and stuff in here but you also got these and you've got four mats in the corner to smoke it out um and you could probably get a palette cheaper than that like <sighs> color book from revolution it's quite simple it's quite a nice round um can also get quite a lot you can also get their chocolate palettes for like 10 quid why do you need to go out and spend 45 quid unless the quality is really high quality there's no point it's like jeffree star cosmetics is overpriced but the quality is good uh i've got this one which was like 12 quid it works perfectly and you can get the browns don't need but it was free well sort of free but i wouldn't say free free but <laughs> yeah so that is what's in the glossy box is it worth my final thoughts is it worth the money no if i'm truly truly honest it is not worth the money all the products are revealed inside. Do not want to ruin this surprise. Save this till the 25th. Um, well, I've just ruined it for everyone. If everyone's just got it. Um, if they got theirs today. And I frankly think it is not worth the money. And I will not be buying this next year. Unless they improve on their products. 
I know this is the first time I'm ever doing a glossy box calendar because last year I never got my hands on one but <sighs> the Marks and Spencer's ones you get like full size products in I still have mine from last year it's still sitting up there <laughs> it's like I got rid of most of my, my full size ones because I could use it all even the year before that so comparing the both, I will go for Marks and Spencer's any day of the week. But Glossy Box, you like, they really disappointed me. It's like my enchantment box, the monthly description. I got a product that, that exploded. It's like, really? You didn't even seal it. It wasn't even sealed. It's like it'd been open and it was exploded. So this month with me with Glossy Box has been quite downhill. I'm not impressed. The only thing I was impressed with was the bath bomb thing that was it so if glossy box are watching this i am literally hugely disappointed i spent 78 quid on this for getting free samples i've got yeah some full size ones but samples uh, sorry it's a flying so please i when I go back and look at the other products that you've done previously, the previous boxes that people have unboxed before Christmas, it's like, yeah, it'd be good for like people if they want to buy it. Yeah, I understand that, but for me, as likes makeup and does makeup and likes beauty stuff and things like that, <laughs> I won't waste my money, but. That's just my personal opinion. I'm not saying not buy it, but this is my personal opinion. You're, if you go back and you look at these sample sizes, and you look in these boxes, you are getting sample sizes. You're not actually getting the full products like you're supposed to. Yeah, they're giving you samples so you can try it out, so you can go and buy the big one. Yeah, I can understand that's a, a stun, a publicity stun, but you're paying for something that you expect the big sizes i don't know whether that's me personally but i think that is what should happen um i've been i've worked in retail for quite some time and we never gave out samples if people ask for a sample yeah we give them samples but people just want to go out and buy the real thing not i don't know i don't get it but there you have the whole glossy box um reveal i don't know if anyone else has done this video i don't know if you want to go check everyone else's opinions out but i personally think this was not worth my money but that's just personal preference um but if you want to go buy it go buy it if they've still got any left um if people stick them on ebay don't don't bother spending two three hundred quid on one it's not worth that don't waste your money seriously do not waste your money because i know last year that the glossy box was selling on ebay and i think it is not worth going out and spending like two three hundred pounds on this box when the products in there are not worth that if that makes sense i'm just warning you guys because i know it happened last year and i think people were a bit nuts and a bit crazy but yeah please don't go out and buy but yeah that's the glossy box so that is my honest opinion and it's my first time opening one and yeah i'm not overly impressed if i'm being totally honest some products in there are really good and i highly recommend but majority of them they're sample sizes so you're gonna just test them out and go buy the real thing so you just paid for samples that's how i see it and that's how it comes across so if you don't like this video don't like it don't comment but if you do like this video please like and subscribe for future videos i can be a sarcastic and but this is my honest opinion don't like it don't watch my video um but yeah hope you enjoyed this video i do have some more coming up um but yeah <laughs> yeah there will be some more coming up uh, as i say go check out just strong as well if you're into your fitness and your clothes these are amazing quality and i highly recommend going checking them out because they are awesome and yeah i love them they're great and it fits me and it makes my bum look big which is even better 
<laughs> so go check them out it's really good quality and it feels really soft and i am going to be using this to work out of the gym so and i'm gonna go drive a bus so yeah all have a good day and i'll see you in the next one